We know Parkinson's disease primarily because of the dopamine features, the tremor, rigidity, slowness, or bradykinesia. What people are less aware of is that you can have degeneration in the brain that involves non-dopamine nerve cells as well. And it can be very extensive, uh, all the way from the top of the brain out into the peripheral autonomic system. And this degeneration leads to a variety of non-motor symptoms that are important because they're not well controlled with current drugs. Uh, they include uh, a variety of problems like uh, falling, freezing of motion where you just stop, problems with mood, depression, problems with pain and discomfort, autonomic disturbances like constipation, sexual dysfunction, blood pressure problems, and cognitive impairment uh, even with dementia. I think that the early motor features uh, could be a clue uh, as to the early features of Parkinson's disease. So if you have a patient that has a combination of anosmia, they have constipation, they have REM behavior disorder, and perhaps other features that we will learn as time goes on, we're becoming increasingly confident that we can say that person has an early feature of the disease. There is active research ongoing to see which combination of non-motor features and other signs, laboratories or imaging features, might actually be um, usable and reliable and valid to define very early, quote-unquote, pre-motor Parkinson's disease. That's ongoing research. After, say, eight or ten years of Parkinson's disease, the non-motor problems become more disabling in many cases than the motor symptoms, which is partly due to the fact that there are good treatments for the motor symptoms, while there are less good treatments for the non-motor symptoms. There are some symptoms which might be only uh, transient as clinically uh, present, just like depression. Uh, it's uh, also possible that some symptoms are only occurring late after uh, the, 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 the cardinal motor symptoms has been, have been uh, present, like uh, cognitive impairment or, or problems in, in balance or in speech. We treat the motor features very well, so now the non-motor features become disabling. The dementia, uh, the uh, autonomic disturbances, depression, sensory problems, these start to collectively become more of a problem. Just think of the advantages of using these so-called non-motor features to recognize the earliest stages of the disease so we can introduce a protective therapy before the disease as we currently know it even begins and maybe prevent it. Parkinson's disease is traditionally perceived to be a motor disease. Therefore, when patients do not present with motor symptoms, diagnosis may be delayed. We understand now better and better that Parkinson's disease can start with non-motor symptoms and this can precede the motor symptoms by years. These early non-motor signs will be quite important in the future for early diagnosis of Parkinson's disease.